Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Camelback. It's a uh, military issued, uh, they call it the Water Beast Omega Reservoir. Uh, I will keep referring to it as a uh, bladder, <laughs> because uh, initially when I was exposed to uh, this type of technology, all right, a few years ago it was always known as bladders, I was into cycling and mountain biking, and uh, cam Camelback at the time was catering uh, to uh, that market. And uh, we all ended up uh, getting Camelback hydration packs, and I've been familiar with the name ever since. Uh, then uh, revisiting it in uh, the military, and uh, once again came across this uh, military version. Considering that uh, our reviews are mainly catered, let's say, to emergency situations, we want to analyze this, all right, before we even get into specs and uh, the great things or features about this actual uh, bladder or hydration uh, uh, reservoir, as they call it. Once again, this is a uh, fully uh, filled, let's say, uh, you'll get close to about three liters and you're looking at adding uh, over seven pounds. All right, so that's no joke. So you wanna be able to justify and say, okay, well, why would I need to carry this extra seven pounds of water? Well, let me fill you in on, on why I uh, think about this. Uh, just different scenarios that I've been in. I treat this almost like a uh, tourniquet, right? A last resort. Uh, when I can. Now, don't get me wrong, if I'm out there and know that I'm just doing a nature hike and happen to have, you know, one of my packs with me and this is on me, of course, I'm just going to drink through it as normal because I know I'm in civilization, so to speak, and I, there's probably an ice cream truck, you know, 20 feet away, you know, so uh, keeping that in mind, uh, let's be practical here. But when I am, uh, let's say, gearing uh, towards a, an emergency situation or even just like a longer hike where I know there's no water sources where I'm probably going to have to purify water or rely on a two or three bottles that I carry with me, canteens, uh, things of that nature. So I try to rip through that stuff first and save this uh, until A, I would need it because there's really no other choices or somebody in my group or family or especially my dogs, uh, which are the most known cul uh, uh, culprits because they uh, just completely tear up all the water that I bring. Uh, they're drinking, uh, you know, the whole time through the trail, which of course I want them to, and I make sure that I almost give them mandatory water breaks because it's not like they could speak, right? But now what ends up happening, right? They go through all their water, and now they're tapping into my water. So if I don't have this extra reservoir, all right, so probably a pretty good name that, uh, that uh, Camelback gave them, now I understand why. I'm a little slow sometimes. <laughs> but if I don't have this, this little uh, extra reservoir uh, with me, what's gonna happen now? Now we're in some trouble, right? Because it's not only just me, you know, but now it's gonna affect members, uh, less experienced people, and of course, my pets. Uh, so uh, once again, think about this also as that little insurance policy. And for me, that really does uh, justify the weight. All right, so I'm glad we kind of got that out of the way. So Camelback is basically a household name um, when it comes to uh, these type of reservoirs or bladders. Uh, and the fact that, of course, they got the uh, US military contract uh, pretty much uh, says a lot about their quality and their specs. Okay, so, uh, you know, once again, you're talking about, uh, you know, some of the best stuff that you could get out there. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more for it, but, you know, once again, we're talking about survival gear here. Uh, you know, not some toy or video game, right? So you want to buy something that you know is going to last and is going to be there for you when you need it. All right, and they spared no expense on these insulated hoses, the quick release, uh, this little bite down feature, right? As you can tell, when you bite down, the water comes out. You have a little uh, lever here to turn on the water, to turn off the water. All of this stuff disconnects so that once again, you can clean your hose out, which this one actually needs to be cleaned because you'll end up getting all this little mold and everything. You know, wherever there's water, there's mold. And be careful what you do clean it out with. I prefer, you know, a distilled vinegar vinegar, uh, some good lemon juice, you know, you start putting bleach and stuff like that in there, you know, you might end up growing a third head, who knows. But, all right, keeping all of this in mind, just everything, the way that it cinches down, the way that there's uh, the, the attachment, right, this stuff is, is thought out, and it's made to be durable, because of course it's going out, and it has to be, uh, you know, marine proof, so to speak, or, or soldier proof, uh, you know, which says a lot, all right, so this stuff's got to last and remain serviceable, so it's kind of built with those specs, so that's something that uh, should bode well for you if you're considering on uh, adding this, uh, this uh, reservoir uh, to your kit. So there are uh, tons of options out there uh, as far as carrying equipment or a pack uh, to put your uh, Camelback uh, bladder in. Uh, so uh, here's an option here. Uh, this one is actually a military issue uh, to the Army. And uh, of course I put a natural training center patch on there. And this is the exact pack and the exact setup uh, that I used uh, when I did run uh, the New York City uh, Marathon. All right, so I have <laughs> plenty of experience uh, with not only the uh, Camelback bladder, but uh, this pack in particular, because it wasn't only just running the marathon, uh, it was uh, all the training uh, that led up to there. All right, so uh, just a couple things that I wanted to show you that's uh, 
kind of standard on most of the packs that you're going to find that are available out there. Uh, because uh, if they are set up, let's say, for uh, a bladder or hydration pack, you'll see that they'll have like a little loop in here, all right, and you could go ahead and just uh, cinch down the rest of it just pretty much stays in there as far as the bladder. All right, so you'll see a similar setup, uh, even uh, newer innovations uh, that are out there. All right, but this uh, works fine for me. Uh, like I said, uh, through various uh, runs, countless miles, uh, marathons, so on and so, so forth. Obviously, to make things a bit more comfortable for me, uh, you'll notice here that there is a bit of an eyelet and the hose can easily uh, go through that eyelet, eyelet once you remove this top part, put it back in. But since I'm constantly swapping stuff out because I kind of only use this pack uh, pretty much when I'm running. Uh, then I use my other packs, obviously, if I'm out there hiking or uh, any other type of uh, preparedness scenario, practicing, so on and so forth. Uh, even uh, just long uh, uh, walks uh, with my dogs. Um, so I want it uh, to be easily uh, swappable is basically what I'm getting at. So if I put it into this eye loop, I, uh, eye loop, I constantly have to take out uh, this whole quick release uh, mechanism. But if I just put one of these cheap little D-rings or carabiners on here, it'll basically do the same job. And then you could also tell the ease of being able to remove it uh, when I do need it as opposed to constantly taking stuff apart. I mean, most of you know, the more you keep taking stuff apart, uh, the less that it's gonna uh, cinch back down when you put it back in, all right? So they are very durable. All right, this is still my original setup, and I got this years ago, uh, plus the, the paces that I put it through, right? But uh, I also haven't removed it that many times. And I'm sure if I removed it, put it back on, removed it, put it back on, I'd be replacing, um, you know, these little pieces uh, that are, you know, available for sale, of course, but I'd be replacing them a heck of a lot more often than, uh, than I have. Um, so, you know, also keep that in mind, these little things, not only is it because I'm being lazy and wanted to, uh, things to, to work a bit quicker for me, uh, but there is also the application of, uh, keeping the gear serviceable. All right. And, uh, you know, why put it through certain paces, uh, that they, they that the gear doesn't need to go to, and then it'll might end up failing on that last time when I really need it out in the field. As I mentioned earlier, as far as, uh, with our dogs, uh, being out in the field, obviously, uh, every opportunity and, uh, that we can with our natural training center members and especially me, I will uh, have my dogs with me. So it's just more of a uh, preparation that's needed, uh, especially addressing uh, water needs. Uh, so what I like about this um, uh, bladder or reservoir as they refer to, uh, is the fact that I can take the water out of here, uh, get myself a simple little bowl that I would have uh, in my kit or in my go bag uh, as far as for the dogs. And I can go ahead and what happens here is with this, the, the bite piece, let's say, and the cover, make sure that it's cinched down, okay? If I turn it this way, it's gonna turn the water on. Right now I have it off. So what I'll do when I want quick access, you could tell this quick disconnect just basically opens up. And I can go ahead, turn on the little spout. You could tell the water's uh, starting to come out. But if I were to lift it up or press down on the bladder itself, you can tell that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be able to fill that up. All right, so once again, ease. Uh, sometimes if I have a little bit more time, I'll just go ahead and squeeze the bite end uh, to get it in there so I don't have to deal with this uh, little stuff as putting it back on, even though it's relatively simple. It's just something else that sometimes if I'm just pulling off on the side of the road, I wanna keep things simple, save the energy. Uh, you guys know how it is, especially when you're battling the heat uh, or other elements that are out there. Uh, sometimes you just wanna keep things simple, but here's a great option also. Uh, to be able to uh, take water out of here, whether it is for your dogs or whether it is filling up a uh, water bottle, uh, in my case, for one of the NTC members uh, that might have not uh, prepared well enough, especially our uh, newer people. Uh, but that's how we learn, all right? And that's another reason why I need to be a little bit uh, more prepared. And if you are, let's say, the leader of your group or the guide of your group, uh, you have to prepare for this type of stuff uh, because, of course, it's going to affect you. And if you're prepared with your personal needs, great, uh, but you also need to look out for your team for your family, uh, for your tribe, and of course, for your pets. All right, showing you some more options. Uh, this is actually my go bag, what I normally have out with me uh, in the field. Um, and I do have a few different ones, uh, once again, depending on what the uh, mission is. But what I did want to show you is, okay, obviously I have the bladder or the reservoir uh, camelback uh, in, uh, inserted in there. And what, what's here is uh, that you see more and more on uh, the packs these days is basically just a little velcro opening all right so that i could open up this velcro feed it from the inside of the pack as far as the hose cinch it down here okay uh so water elements things like that don't get in there and it keeps it from moving around more once again to the cheap uh d-ring all right or carabiner here 
just to hold it in place. And keep in mind that you can tuck it in further or pull it out more depending on your height, uh, depending on what you need and what's more comfortable for you. And don't forget your other attachments. You know, when I'm out there, I have a GPS ham radio. Uh, one of my dog's leashes is usually attached to here. So I, I try to obviously rig this up the way that it's gonna work for me uh, the best. You know, keep in mind that your needs might be completely different. Um, so we're just sharing ideas here, okay? Uh, as I open this up and I get into the mess uh, that I have in here, uh, you can tell that I have another one of these cheap uh, carabiners or D-rings, all right, that basically only serve this type of purpose, not anything you could depend on. Uh, so I have this in here just to keep it upright, to keep it vertical, so that when the pack is on my back, uh, the uh, bladder is vertical and able to, for the water to be able to uh, flow uh, through the hose uh, that much easier, okay? So, uh, you know, that's basically how I have this uh, attached on the inside. Obviously, you might have a different pack, but I think the principles uh, should pretty much uh, be the same. Uh, so keep that in mind, right? Make sure your uh, pack has an option like this if you do plan on uh, carrying a, a bladder inside of it. So basically, if you do need a hydration pack, uh, if it's something that you uh, can justify adding the extra weight for, uh, which once again, I give you my reasons how I justify it, uh, this is something that you definitely want to look at. I mean, uh, just the fact that it is U.S. military spec, uh, the fact that it has the uh, Camelback name on it, uh, you can just tell by the quality and everything that makes it easier. You got valves here to press to make the water flow uh, easier, especially if you're siphoning things out. So there's all sorts of uh, little extras, and I'll list all of the uh, those specific uh, specs in the blog post on CoachHelder.com. So make sure you go ahead and uh, check that out if that's something that interests you. And uh, that's basically it. I hope uh, you found this review uh, useful. Uh, this is something that I've used and used uh, often. And, uh, you know, once again, I think if you do add this to your kit and uh, go ahead and utilize it and utilize it the right way, uh, it's going to give you a lot of years of uh, emergency uh, preparedness value and uh, even just recreational. All right. Once again, this is Helder. Thanks uh, for listening.